Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hi, welcome to our coffee break. So good to be on the couch again. And joining us today is Amy Groves, who may need no, no um, introduction because you're so active in town, which is why we, how we've gotten to know you a bit and looking forward to learning more. Well, and you moved to town Actually, I moved to town in 99. I bought my first home, or we bought our first home in 2001. So, so 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. You so you, you 20 yeah. years. You came with the wave that we all came. Or at least yeah, the three came. You, kind yeah, of yeah. came. Yeah, you know, she grew up Ashland. town over. She yeah. can't quite call herself <laughs> a townie, but town well, you were, over. Your first house upon getting married early on. I'm still in it. I know. Yeah, but I mean, that was yeah. years ago. Yeah. But 99, so we came in 97, 99. 98. You know, 98. 97, 98, she, 99. Yeah. She actually lived in the um, lake neighborhood. We um, Absolutely. Yeah, she was, uh, she was a Laika. So what brought you to Hopkinton in, in your first spot? Or just to come out here in you the know, beginning? I got a crush on somebody and I moved out here for that reason. So oh. I moved out here for love, right? Wow. But uh, we got married and actually it was sort of a good place t for commuting because I was commuting north and she was commuting into town, into Boston, and okay. we just thought, well, it was central. Yeah. Central. Good, good, yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. at those so. Pike 495 intersections. It is. Yeah. It is yeah. awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. And now I work at home, so I'm so I'm thrilled. So and yeah. Then I started to like Hopkinton, so. Yeah. And get involved. I mean, um, well, wait, 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 tell me a little bit about what you do by day, and then we'll talk about what you do for Hopkinton. By yeah. day. By day. Um, by day, I actually work in a big tech company that's mm -hmm. not Dell EMC. It's okay. a different one. But it has three letters again. It has three letters and it's <laughs> blue. It's very blue. IBM. Um, You're allowed to say <laughs> the say. You're IBM. allowed to say. Go IBM. Disclaimer, I'm not representing IBM. Of course. But, um, but yeah, I've worked there for a long time. Okay. Um, and I'm really a software consultant at this point. Excellent. Kind of engineering background. Oh, wow. Yeah. So. Smart. Yeah. So you were one of the early women in tech. Right. A uh, little bit. You know, exactly. I mean, I actually, I actually didn't train up for this. Originally, I had really a fine arts and liberal arts background. Right. And then I switched in my 30s, and I just went about face. Mm -hmm. Cool. And, um, well, you, you studied, pivot. You studied yeah. French and violin and. Yeah. Wow. All that stuff. You're a renaissance woman. Where did yeah. you grow up? Originally in Indiana. Okay. And Ohio. Ohio. And then, yeah, yeah. And then I mm -hmm. went to school, in a college in Ohio. I went to high school in in the in Michigan. Did you go to Oberlin? Yeah, I went to Oberlin. Oberlin yeah. Music. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. That's a great school. I started out at the uh, S University of Cincinnati uh, oh, College yeah. Conservatory of Music for yeah. a brief moment and thinking I was going to be a classical pianist. Oh, but I was what? a pianist too, a violinist, yeah. Oh, okay. this woman. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Awesome. Well, you've been around. Awesome. So IBM moved you around too in terms of the, the career? Yeah, moved you to places. yeah. Mm -hmm. If you work in a really gigantic company, yes. you can just sort of change yourself and sort of change your skin and you know morph into something else exactly. and just stay at the same well place. i'll put in the plug you know i grew up my professional career was in the high-tech industry cray research if you remember oh, um, back in the, the day, day. day. Yeah. Oh, yeah yeah oh. so ibm was well near and dear to us but that's the cray important. was but cool it was yeah. very cool yes indeed but yes uh, lifetimes ago yeah. But yeah, so that's what you do, and then but here in town. So when did you start getting active in Hopkinton, and what what sort of sparked that? I mean, I always kind of you know I was kind of voted and went to town meeting and that sort of thing. I was kind of had an opinion because one does, right? But <laughs> you're, paying, uh, you're paying taxes. Yeah, exactly. yeah. But then I really started getting more involved. I think maybe after 2016, you know, the beginning of 2017, and I just okay. thought I just started to see a connection between, you know, things that I could do and real changes that could be made. And I, I hadn't really made that connection before. Okay. You know. So I, th I think taking where your roots were in a committee you just got appointed to by the selectmen oh. has shown kind of like a full circle is that um, Amy is now part of um, the Hopkins Cultural Council. Okay. So taking things that were really her roots and a passion and now right. actually doing it. She's yeah. um, also an artist who's um, been at Poly Arts yeah. and exhibited um, wow. and supported yeah. a lot of arts. And that is actually, a huge part of what Hoppington's makeup is too. Mm -hmm. This has got a breeding ground of artists. Right. So talk about your role in the council, and mm -hmm. not everybody knows about the council. I, right. I think we do here, but um, and I, the but we have a we and, have a yeah. growing yeah. listening, uh, watching audience. So yeah. tell what I think a lot of people don't know about the council. It's actually, and you you wouldn't think this, but the money is actually coming through the Mass Cultural Council. Okay, it's coming from the state lottery. 
So oh, well, your lottery not all of it now, but, but yeah, but, yeah, a lot yeah. of it goes to the slush. But it's right. it initiated through the Massachusetts State Lottery was yeah. for the arts. Mm -hmm. But it's called the what? What is the name of the the, the group again? Hopkins Cultural, Cultural Council. Because there's you know we have so many different names and, for things, and, and it's part of the Mass Cultural Council. Right. So the, yes. the the mothership is Mass Cultural Council, and then towns Hopkinton get Cultural a piece Council. of it. But your role and what you guys do, and as I Tell said, I, I think sometimes you know, not everybody knows that yeah. they can submit. And yes. So tell us so. about it, yes. And that is, I think, a problem. I, I just really want for all artists, you know, for, for all arts programs and for all individual artists, I really want them to know about this mm -hmm. because, you know, there are ways that we can help, um, including financially. And um, so I really, you know, want to encourage people to kind of take a look Take a look right. at our website. Mm -hmm. um, we, have, we just support a really wide variety of, of art, so don't ever think that your art is not, you know, not well, one you of can, them. You can yeah. submit for grant um, mm -hmm. and funding, but then there's other support you guys provide and facilitate. And, so, yeah. um, and, and some of that is things like, you know, maybe social media shout outs and things like mm -hmm. letting people know that showing up at events and things yeah. like that. I mean, there are guidelines for the grants. Um, and the, the grant requests have increased, and I think it's more because the Cultural Council has been trying to get out there and be more visible. Yeah. Um, and there are organizations that couldn't apply for a grant, like Whitehall Artists, mm. which was really disappointing because we were like trying and trying, like yeah. how can we get them to like, be able to apply and get a grant? But the different criteria of actually being like registered with the state, having uh, an EI, uh, yeah, those yeah, are like real. But yeah. this year's grants are very broad. Oh, yeah. I mean, a master class at the high school for jazz to, mm -hmm. you know, the summer concerts to, um, certainly HCA and, right. and HCA, but the, uh, there's one on rocks. Oh, the, the, like a field trip. No, that, that, that was the old purgatory. Okay. The one that's on like historic rock walls. Oh, <laughs> that's a whole oh. talk that's coming in that. and stuff like yeah. that. There's one just on rocks. Aren't yeah. you on the committee too? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actually the press secretary for the committee. She's <laughs> 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 <Right. laughs> yeah. my mole. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, but so that's one thing that you do. You do yeah. some other stuff around here too. Yeah. Well, I think. One of the things that, because of the time of year, that why I wanted to ask Amy to come on, is Amy's actually a sponsor of one of the articles coming up at town meeting. Mm -hmm. And it's actually time for this article to come up at town meeting. And so I wanted her to talk about that and then talk about kind of what the history of other towns are doing. And you know well, how I feel about thing here. this. I, oh, you well, know, I have always been a fan of what I consider um, gender equality. Yeah. Um, and there's so much in our society that we don't realize is insidious yep. that is really disparate. Absolutely. Let, let's let, so, uh, dial back though and let's talk yeah. about what it is before yeah. we, yeah. That was a teaser. That was a teaser. That was a teaser, everybody. That was a lead into what the article is about. Because here it is, ta-da. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually, we want to change um, the Hopkinton Board of Selectmen to the Hopkinton Select Board. Right. And um, mm -hmm. it all happened when I discovered that other towns were doing it, and I got jealous. I know I'm kind of c competitive in a way. Mm -hmm. Call it team so spirit. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always mad when Hopkinton isn't first. And it all starts here. The country, so yeah. We've got that as well. Yeah, right. yeah but right. it all starts here. We right. want to be first. It's, it's a subtle, but it's a powerful name yeah. change yeah. to um, just neutralize the gender because you know men and women are both serving on this yeah. on the. Board of Selectmen. So select yeah. board seems to me like a natural evolution. It makes sense. It's like mm -hmm. city councilor, it's like firefighter, it's like police officer. Police officer. Right. Right. And a third of the yeah. towns in Massachusetts have already changed and another third are kind of on the way, like they're you know, in process or yeah. they're using them inconsistently. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, we're kind of actually getting, falling behind here, so. Um, What's well, funny, even though, as you started talking about it, I've been, I've been defaulting to that terminology anyway. Mm. But, you know, it'd be nice to it's a habit. make it official. It's, it's habit forming. It once, once you get it's the idea, it's like, oh, this is much better. Yeah, so that's cool. I mean, I think, mm -hmm. you know, selectmen is almost a New England, I mean, I think it's it all, all over, but it's very much of a New England term. It is. And um, of the way so when, the, when is. this all came up, I was kind of like, yeah, okay, whatever, we can change the select board. I don't have, I wasn't like emotionally driven one way or the mm -hmm. other. What drew me to say, yes, we need to do this change was you had started a, um, almost like a survey of people who'd be interested in kind of signing up. Yeah. And one of the sentences you put in is that the office of selectmen was created before women had the right to, to vote. vote. Yeah. So that's why it, could it was select that was, it was, it was yeah. appropriate for the time 
2020 and will be the 100th anniversary. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we were not one of the first countries to give women the right to vote. Yeah, right. And mm -hmm. even with the right to vote, it wasn't, we didn't have the right to serve right. Mm -hmm. okay. on a lot of elected. Sure. Yeah. Um, Couldn't run for office. Boards. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, so anyway, yeah. keep, keep, so you decided we needed to keep, catch up. Yeah, yeah. And you know, people, we're, we're all very interested in history in Hopkinton and mm -hmm. everything. And, and it got me started thinking about history. And you know, when I think about history, I'm getting kind of old. You know, I think mm. about I think about history. Age is relative. I, yeah, we're young. Yeah. <laughs> but My I mom also, at 93. I old. think about legacy also. Yes. It's, yes. it's the counterpart. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm down in the library researching this. Like, when did women serve on the board, and when did mm -hmm. women not serve on the board? And I'm getting all this history. And I'm realizing a hundred years from now, somebody's going to be looking at us, yeah. and they're going to be wondering, we're going to be history, you know? Right. <laughs> right. What Sorry, did you do? But we are. Yeah. They're going to be wondering, like, what were we about? Yeah. You right. know? What were we thinking? What were we like? Yes. And I don't want them to see select men. Right. Mm -hmm. And the, Not the other in thing 2019. Is, yes, and, right. And the exactly. other thing that I saw was women have been serving on the board since 74. It took from 1920 to 1974. That's a long time. Right. But 74 to now, that's a long time. And guess what happened? Almost every year, there's been one woman on the board. Mm -hmm. Almost never more than one. Mm -hmm. Almost never less than one. Mm -hmm. Fewer than one. But as when we changed around the year 2000 to a five-member board, we never got more women. We only got more men. Mm -hmm. So now we're actually less represented on that board than we were in 1974. Wow. Yeah. What was it before? Four but people? It was Six. three. It was three. It was three. It was and three then it went to five. Wow. Yeah. Okay. But so the what? number of women didn't mm -hmm. go up. So it seems like such a no-brainer and a slam dunk and ought to do it. Are there any naysayers? Are there people who are sort of, and I just wonder what yeah. the argument is against. There are people who are saying, uh, not too many, but, but people are saying, like my mother used to say years and years ago, decades ago, the generic man. Like, what is that? Mm. Um, like, select man is supposed to mean select person. Every human, and, yeah. and everybody, everybody Like mankind kind of man, man reference. Okay. Um, I'm not really getting that. I'm wondering, do they really say policeman? And we have a no. woman, mm. we have a woman firefighter right now. Yeah. On fire. yeah. Do, am I going to walk up to her and call her a fireman? I don't think that well, would be very they polite. Well, that even before there were a huge number of women in the forces. Yeah. They, were, they went to police they officer and firefighter. I like to put the show on the other foot. Okay. And I like to challenge. Yeah. How would one feel if it were select woman yeah you know in and if i am it's, it's inclusive it it, 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 it has a man, man. And man. Yeah. by <laughs> implication you'll get it by context yeah yeah, yeah right. you get it by con and so yeah. the arguments up here it's context it's generic it's like let's switch it and how do we feel about that and everybody yeah. oh that's and it's like but it is that's the, the same, same thing it yeah. is mm -hmm. and and I don't disagree. Our history has been more patriarchal. Mm -hmm. That's why it was select men, and that's okay. But we're not there anymore. Right, we've moved and, on. And it's time to change. I mean, we don't. There are a lot of things that we don't do anymore that mm -hmm. you know you yeah. could say are part of our <laughs> past and culture. And and you know this may seem subtle, but it really is impactful and mm -hmm. important. Absolutely. Now, yeah. when this gets to town meeting, does it need just a majority vote, a two-thirds vote? Well, so it had to be written up as two separate articles. Mm -hmm. These are citizens' petitions from me. Um, so one, the first one would change the wording in the general bylaws, mm -hmm. and that's just by simple majority of the people in the, in the auditorium at that time, okay. Pro probably a slam dunk. Mm -hmm. Then the other one, uh, the next one changes the zoning bylaws and that requires two-thirds majority. Okay. It's hard to imagine that somebody would want to change the general bylaws and not the zoning bylaws What's and make the, them inconsistent. Why would the zoning, why would you, zoning have any Zoning even, always yeah. requires two-thirds. Um, but I mean, what's that got to do with the name change, the zoning board? It just refers to it in the bylaws. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay, it's, you're right. It's the words, yeah, the I language see the word. that is used. Yeah. Yeah. So then we wouldn't have to do anything to the charter until no. another nine years when the yeah. charter comes up. And that actually gives gives us time, everybody time to adjust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so in the meantime, this very board, the select board, the board of selectmen, actually could direct um, through the town manager the IT department to change the website. Oh, sure. um, and okay. people, other, other boards and committees can start updating you know, their, their agendas and their meeting minutes and how they, right. people, we, we just get mm -hmm. used to it. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of time. And then by the time the next charter review rolls around, 
everybody's used to it. We've boiled the frog, you know, <laughs> and everybody's happy. Yep, everybody's yep, calling yep. a select board, and then it doesn't become a big contentious issue during charter review because charter yeah. review is hard enough. Right. So let's take care of everything else before then, yeah. mm -hmm. and then smoothly do charter review. And I know you kind of launched it off by developing this website that had like information of what the change is, yeah. and kind of the history about the whole, like we just talked about women voting, yeah. and then people could kind of sign that they were supporting. Yeah. And at first I thought, it's going to be a zillion women just supporting it. It's yeah. going to be all, you know, everybody who's maybe on the left or whatever. And it's not. It's not. It's, and, you know, and also it's some very prominent leaders in town from, you know, two of our selectmen, have, at least one has signed it, and one has actually spoken positive about it yeah. in the press. Yeah, yeah. on the select board. Yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't exist yet. Yeah, I know, I, mean, I know. But, um, <laughs> but we can start using the language. But it's definitely bipartisan, right? It is, like it, it really it is. It is it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a, basically, it's an inclusion, human. It, yeah. Well, and, and we have, as a town, put a stake in the ground about being inclusive. We yeah. did it in the charter when the charter came up. Yeah. You know, we we do the the you know, uh, there's the hop kind. Yeah. To right. I, yeah. Know, yeah. Like, you That's know. a tongue twister. Yeah. And, if Hopkinton isn't uh, already. Yeah, <laughs> and and you know, so it just. And it's kind of correct. It just it, it makes yeah. more accurate. It's more accurate. You know? yeah. We're just at the time that it it needs it's to true. happen, and yeah. I think. The way Amy approached it was really cool because I learned from it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that it like it, it, it set the platform. It was like, here's how the name Selectman came up. Here's the history of it. Here's when women got to vote, and here's when like Hawkins started having women as Selectman, and that you've had actually you know a parody of a board. So overdue. Let's yeah. let's time yeah. and that and yeah. and to also say one third of the towns have already done it, and mm -hmm. others are starting to make the change that we need like to us. catch up. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah, and it's it's just an easy change to make. There aren't that many. When I go to town meeting, I know there aren't that many articles that are free. They don't cost anything. Yes. <laughs> and they're just so easy to make. I yeah. mean, it's just a it's like a it's a cosmetic change, really. Mm -hmm. But it's fundamentally but a deep one. Yeah, I was gonna say it, it, you know? it's very very important. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because you don't want half your population, mm -hmm. subtle as it is, to be excluded. Right. Yeah. And, and it is a little exclusive. Totally. Um, so, yeah. yeah, in case you don't know, I have an opinion about this. <laughs> well, I we think we're all in agreement about it. Yeah. It feels like a, the, I hope um, the same What are the next steps before we get to town meeting on like getting the word out or support outside of making sure people show up and get to town meeting to support it? A lot of it is getting the word out. There is that, it's hopkintonselectboard.org. Uh -huh. And um, people can go there and learn more about it. Mm -hmm. And also, they can actually endorse online. It's, you know, it's a non-binding endorsement. Right. But it just kind of shows your support. And it's a way of doing something that just takes a minute. Okay. And um, you can just sign up yourself online. And um, just kind of join the growing group of people who I are, do you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think there's a couple hundred already on there. I haven't checked, but there's something like that. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to make another big push in letting people know about it. As soon mm -hmm. as people find out about it, they just go right there. We'll, put, we'll post it up on so, this show, too, yeah. so people can remember. And I kind of did a little analysis on the people who are signing up, and like a whole lot of them are people who they do go to town meeting. Yeah. You know, So these are good. And I noticed that, yeah. um, I, I think it was, it was after the website had gotten launched and you know the online endorsements, was. Um, wasn't there an article in one of the newspapers yeah. that kind of talked about it? And it, was, and it really just laid it out real. It's like, you know, let's take it where, our, where history has brought us to this day where we need to go forward. Yeah. yeah. And um, it was good to see people who um, are in leadership positions that actually spoke out for it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah the Metro West Daily News did an article, and then I, they surprised me. They did an, an opinion piece, an op ed, mm. and they, they were just firmly for it. Came up with all kinds of arguments I had never even thought of, and I thought, "Well, that's very nice. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Thank you." Yeah. Yeah. So, what were the things that they came up with? They just said, "It's you know, it's it's long overdue. Why wouldn't you do it?" Um, and it's just, it's time, you know. Right. Mm. Um, and I, that's what I think. I, you know, I've talked to a lot of people who say, "I'm solidly in favor of it. This is wonderful. This is fabulous." I've talked to a lot of other people who, frankly, have said, "Eh, it's okay." Well, I'm not going to oppose it. Why would I oppose it? And I think, well, that's fine. Then yeah. vote for yeah. it. Don't oppose it. Yeah. If mm -hmm. it's not that important to you, just understand that it's important to other people. Right. Really important to other really people. Really important. Yeah. To like other outside people. of like someone going on the mic and telling me and saying, "Well, this is how it's always been, and it's the history, so that's how yeah. I want to keep it." I can't think of an argument against it. Right. Yeah. Well, and right. and I will suggest that 
yes, it is history, but sometimes it's important to move beyond what is historic when mm -hmm. what is historic isn't necessarily correct. Right. Yeah. And right. I would suggest that this isn't correct. And yeah. like I said, if if you can't go to select woman, mm -hmm. you know, I just, you know, that sounds extreme, but you know what? People laugh at me and it's like, exactly. Yeah. Well, exactly. actually, do you know that in Brookline, they had that a year or two ago. They had that proposal to go to select woman, and it was a man who made the proposal, <laughs> and he was making a point. He knew it wouldn't yeah. pass, but he said, okay, we're gonna, this, is, this is my proposal. So they went with a counter proposal, and they just changed it to select board. board. Ah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Go to the other extreme, yeah. and people come back. Well, <laughs> but, but it, but it yeah. does make a point, and when people laugh, it's like, yeah. why is that why funny? Is that why, funny? Are you yeah. why is that funny? Mm -hmm. This is, yeah. and, and it's so hard because, and you can't pick it on my high horse, it is privilege that allows people to believe mm -hmm. that it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because it doesn't sit, matter to them. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so when you throw something out, like, well, let's go to select woman, mm -hmm. and they think, well, that's preposterous. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, welcome yeah. to just my world. Like, just <laughs> exactly. like select man, it's preposterous. Yeah. You know. Exactly. We can chip so. away at perceptions and labels yeah. and all those things, or the lack of labels, yeah. to um, help us come together. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it's inclusive. Yeah. yeah. And that's how we progress. Nobody wants to go back to using <laughs> a typewriter. Mm. Yeah. And that, you know, the, yeah. if our tools change, so does like yeah. our approach to things, our verbiage with things. I was, I was talking to someone the other day, and um, he's like, you're not that much older than me, and I'm like 10 or 11 years older than him. Mm -hmm. And there were like three women around the same age as me right there, and I said, did you take typing in high school? Uh, and he's like, well, no, we didn't, I don't even know if they had it. I said, okay, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> but you to see, like, you know, there's a progression of like, we're moving well, forward, like you move forward on other things. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, of you know it's like yeah. you, you want to stick Car with it because it's historic and because that's the way it was. Yeah. Then let's go back to everything when, when yeah. the term, exactly. terminology came up because I have a candle for you to like eat dinner by. Well, you, know, <laughs> well, you talk about typewriters and so forth. I mean, I'm old enough to know my early career, starting out in the temporary help service, we used to place women mm -hmm. in uh, support, you know, admin support. Yeah, yeah. And it was at a time when men were interested in, because we were using the word processor, and there were men, I'll never forget, trying to sell the fact that we had a top-notch young guy mm -hmm. to come in and be an executive assistant temp. And, you know, there were so few men who knew how to type. That was oh. the thing, that they felt that men would not be able to type. They yeah. didn't have the finger dexterity. <laughs> and now, I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, obviously. Well, wasn't but they there, were, there was a strong belief in that. Yeah. Wasn't there a whole company called Kelly Girl? Kelly yes. Girls. Yes. Yeah. I was uh, a manager with Norell Services, yeah. one of the yeah. top three. Yeah. 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 Or you could be a Katie Gibbs girl. Yep. Oh, yeah. that's way back. Oh, that's very yeah. specific. Oh, that, that was office stuff. But too. you know the thing yeah. about typewriters? I love typewriters. I They're do too, fascinating. Actually. They're a fascinating part of our history. Right. You know? Horses and buggies. I loved. I love history. It's well, great, you know, yeah. but it's history. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, exactly. it's not today. So it's time to make horse and buggy, yeah. that right. term history. I've never. No, well. I've never ridden in a horse. Well, oh, I have. I you have. can. Okay. Central in many Park. cities. Central yeah. Park. Just from a sentimental yeah. But the, thing. Um, yeah. So, isn't there another meeting that comes up in like a week or so though that like the public has a chance to like hear about the articles and things? Well, certainly EHOP is having you know the know your vote right. I love you. Right. Yeah. So that would be in. April, April. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's chances where people can actually learn yeah, more about it. Yeah. So it, it know your vote, and, and I think online we'll put the website up. Yeah, yeah. HopkintonSelectBoard.org, and um, and when is town meeting? Town meeting starts May sixth. With any May luck, 6th. it'll be May sixth and seventh. So we're less than two months from town meeting. Yeah. Seven p.m. Okay. Um, so there we go. I call it the Carnival Democracy. And then you need to be <laughs> trademarking that. I quote. I, I put it in quotes. You know, for you, but that is, I think it's cute. Oh, it is. Yeah. It well, is. It is. We need a teacher. Democracy in like a very raw, yeah, grassroots form, and to watch it, it's like either more people need to come and get involved to support it, or basically the same characters every year are going to decide Change. how we're going to spend a yeah. hundred million dollars of your money and yeah. you know. Well, coming from another part of the country and people who do come to town meeting, this is yeah. like, like real democracy yes. at work. You yeah. know, so if 50 people show up and 49 of them want X, I mean, that's what's going to happen. So, yeah. you know, yeah, except so right you know, now we need to have hun 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 oh, sorry. It's 1% of the voters. Yeah. So yeah. Thanks yeah. to yours truly. <laughs> yeah, one for so every yeah. vote, for right. every article. And, and it used to be just we had 100 
voters for financial articles, and we changed it to 1% for every article, and regardless of what's the minimal number then? Right now it's 117. Probably by okay. the time of Tommy, it's going to be about 118, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 120. But um, And we no, just had a see. special town meeting that we had over 200 people yeah. show up. Yeah. It used Which to be days, that years that would buy, we would wait to get to that 100. It'd be like 705, 750. You're like, and you're, you're you going to quorum. Quorum. You're yeah. going yeah. outside because mm -hmm. your cell phone isn't working, calling people like, can you get in here? We can't start yeah. town meeting. When was that, like roughly when there was like a struggle like that? Was it, what era? Or I'd say early 2000s. Actually, okay. even unless there's some sort of hot button, like, oh, there's a new school, school. There's yeah. turf fields. Oh, boy. Um, oh, God. You yeah. know, yeah. That there's some sort of hot button to yeah. draw people in. Um, well, I remember early on when we moved here, if it was a school thing, the, the place would be packed. And people would vote and be all this oh, rock, and then then they would right. empty out. Like yeah. you know. so I see. So if they have that. if they Extreme. have interest in these other articles or don't, if they get up and leave, these other articles, mm -hmm. if if we go below that number, mm -hmm. they can't proceed. They have to yeah. wait and get those people. get that amount of people back. I mean, there's a, there's a one that is really needed. Um, EMC Park um, needs to be overhauled. It needs new equipment, things like that. So I think that's going to draw a lot of moms Hopefully out yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. things yeah. like younger that. Crowd. And our younger crowd out to see, like, okay, then they have to stay. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. they, I, I, forgive, forgive me if I'm wrong, but aren't there some real, you know, folks in the back to figure out what articles should be in what order? Because oh, yeah, that they do that. Yeah, so that's if you know how to do that or get yeah. that happening. Right, so I mean, well, the, you know. the selectmen actually decide the order of the articles. Well, the, however and, you influence that. You well, know. And then they the, do it the, according the, to a certain certain guidelines. Right, so, so yeah. basically housekeeping for the town, um, you know, past bills, then like and budgets, uh, yeah. any well, town salaries yeah. come up first. Yeah. So all zoning articles are bundled together, mm -hmm. things yeah. like that. This well, woman loves this carnival yes. democracy. You're real. <laughs> really no, the, if it goes after 10, I'm, I'm like the party pooper of the carnival. <laughs> well, I, will, I do want to do it real quick. This yes. is our fifth, ending our fifth year for this show. on the couch. That's right. In fact, like today or this month for yeah. sure. March, yeah. yeah. So yeah. cheers to five cheers years. Cheers to You're celebrating Hopkins the Hopkins and Coffee Break. Anniversary. Anniversary. Yeah. 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 I should have baked the cake. Yeah. We've been oh. on the couch yeah, five years and we're still not cured. We could do an article that you have to have cake at every town meeting. Look there at that. Oh. Hey. That's right. Yeah. That's a big cake. Yeah. I would like to see some things served for refreshments. But thanks for joining thank us. Thank you. Yes. Thank see you. you. And you um, check out Amy's website. Yep. My son had a drinking problem at college. I had no idea things could get so much worse so fast. A friend suggested we try Al-Anon family groups, even though our son claimed his drinking was no big deal. I didn't want to go to an Al-Anon meeting, but I'm sure glad I went. Is someone's drinking troubling you? You might be surprised at what you can learn in an Al-Anon family group from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-AL-ANON or go to alanon.org.